if it's a famous hurricane that you've heard of that's threatened the U.S. since 1976, one of our P-3 aircraft has flown in it. Well, the best way I could describe it is it's sort of like if you can imagine riding a roller coaster through a car wash uh, because you can't see anything out the windows in the eye wall. It's, it's just like a car wash. It actually, even in the middle of the day, it gets dark inside the airplane. It's raining so hard. We have the large oscillations and then we have some jarring jolts that hit us uh, kind of out of nowhere, both positive G's and negative G's. As a storm is beginning to gather on its way across the Atlantic, we will actually deploy our aircraft from our home in Lakeland, Florida, down to the Caribbean. And then we will fly twice a day. This airplane will just go day, night, day, night, day, night for six days in a row. And the missions last anywhere between eight and nine hours. I basically am in charge of gathering all the science data, making sure it's collected, making sure the Hurricane Center gets what they need. And even more importantly, I make sure that it's done safely. So I work very closely with the pilots as we're going through the storm to get ourselves as safely as possible into the center of the storm and out. We're not afraid of the storm. Uh, we have a lot of respect for it, but there's, there's pressure to perform. You, know, you have to do your job right. I, I think that's the, where the adrenaline is. So the data that I'm collecting that's going off the airplane in real time is seen just a couple minutes later at the Hurricane Center and around the world. So I want to make sure it's right. A morning from the National Weather Service will follow shortly. In the outer parts of the storm, if there's a if there's a cell that's particularly bad that we don't have to fly through, we will go around it. But when you're talking about a category four, category five hurricane, you have what is essentially 360 degrees of eye wall. There's no way around it. You're gonna to have to punch through the worst part of the storm. And so what we do is we prepare the crew as best we can. As you can see, this image hasn't really changed much. It's a little old, it hasn't changed much over the last... We fly at the correct airspeed, uh, 210 knots indicated airspeed, which is not too fast and not too slow. If you go too fast, you put too many Gs on the aircraft and it's too turbulent. If you go too slow, you may stall the aircraft. So we try to fly at the right airspeed and the right altitude, which is usually between an eight and 10,000 feet as we penetrate the eye wall of a hurricane. It is not especially reinforced at all for flying hurricanes. P3 is a very rugged aircraft. It takes a lot of punishment and uh, does a really good job of holding together. Kids can ask some, some really good questions, like why do you fly a turboprop plane into a hurricane instead of a jet airplane, things like that. Why the turboprop? Well, uh, if you think about it, in the eye wall of a hurricane, there's a tremendous amount of water. It, it's raining worse than you could ever imagine. Like I said, it's like going through a car wash. And if you flew a jet engine into that, you're actually more likely to get a lot of that water into the compressor section of the engine, which would be problematic. Uh, so the prop in front of it helps to keep a lot of that water out. And also turboprop engines respond much more quickly to a change in the power levers, our, our throttles essentially, uh, so that when you need power in a, flying through the eye wall of a hurricane, you have it immediately with a turboprop engine. With a, a turbofan engine, it takes a while for those engines to spool up, uh, and we don't want that. This is my first year uh, coming to Oshkosh. It's pretty amazing. When we came in to land, I was astonished by what I saw in terms of the people in all the planes. Uh, but it's a, it's a pretty exciting, pretty exciting scene. And it's good for us to get our, our message out, what our mission is, and get for people to get to see the aircraft.